Hello everyone, myself Karuna Mishra and we are continuing the series in understanding the very basics of science and technology. In the last class, we studied about the nuclear fission reaction. Let us understand what is nuclear fusion reaction. Now, nuclear fusion reaction is something that humans have dreamed of. We want to understand how the energy is produced in the stars, what is the source of energy of the sun and how can we tame it and use it for the humankind. Nuclear fusion ke upar kaam aad se nahi Nuclear fusion reaction is something on which the humans are working post world war. In fact, the first H bomb or the hydrogen bomb which uses fusion energy was uh, detonated back in the 50s, 1950s. But on the global scale, nuclear fusion is yet not commercially used as a source of energy. But can nuclear fusion be uh, an answer to the clean energy requirement of the mankind and how it can help in making sure that the energy security is achieved. Now, these are the bigger questions, but to understand these bigger questions, let us understand the basic of what exactly is nuclear fusion. So, nuclear reaction can be of two types, a fusion or a fission reaction. We already understand what is a fission reaction in which a bigger element is broken into smaller or a bigger uh, material is broken into smaller material and some extra neutrons are released and these extra neutrons actually are responsible for uh, the chain reaction further. In fusion reaction, I basically see that smaller element combined to form a bigger element and in the process huge amount of energy is released. Now, let us understand how, what happens in a fusion reaction. So, how nuclear fusion works can be understood that hydrogen atoms, now I am not talking about the hydrogen that we generally know that is in the form of 1H1. I am talking about deuterium which has atomic number 1 and atomic mass 2, this is deuterium and tritium which has atomic number 1 and atomic mass 3. What does it mean? That this hydrogen has one proton plus one neutron whereas this isotope of hydrogen has one proton plus two neutron whereas 1H1 which is the general form of hydrogen or uh, the, the most common isotope of hydrogen does not contain any neutron. So, it is the isotopes of hydrogen that is deuterium and tritium which is used. So, these isotopes they are combined they are combined to create a bigger element and here the bigger element is the inert gas helium. Helium is an inert gas or a noble gas. This is what happens in nuclear fusion. This is what happens in sun. This is what happens in star which produces huge amount of energy. So, the question comes ki ye jo energy ka source hai, what is the main source of this energy? Now, see the number of protons always remains the same always remains the same. Here, the number of proton 1 plus 1 makes 2, but it is the number of neutrons. Uh, when I combine two small elements to make a larger element, then the number of neutrons is decreased. The ideally, it should be 5, but here the number of neutron is 4. So, that uh, neutron which is lost is basically what is responsible for the energy production or heat production. So, it is one neutron that is lost which is then recovered as heat or energy. What is the raw material that is used? It is hydrogen. The source of energy would be hydrogen uh, that is the two isotopes of hydrogen deuterium and tritium and the loss of neutron which results in the production of heat. Humans are also trying to achieve nuclear fusion energy via ITER. ITER which is an initiative of multiple countries including India which has a reactor called a Stokomak reactor to achieve nuclear fusion at commercial scale. Uh, I want to draw your attention that in nuclear fission also which we studied the atomic number always remains same. If I add 56 to 36 it is also 92. There is never the change in the atomic number, it is the atomic mass which gets reduced that is the neutrons are lost which is then uh, you know responsible for production of energy. I will continue with this series with more basic concepts till then stay tuned. Thank you so much.